Okay, another Barvember question. And again, I think my solution is going to be a bit different from the one provided by White Rose Maths. But um, hey ho, I can only draw what makes sense to me. Okay, so here's the question. And this is the level four question. Um, again, I thought it was quite um, tricky. I thought it was worth doing. Sometimes, sometimes I only do the level five question. Whitney has a bag of cat food. She gives her cat the same amount of food each day. At the end of the eighth day, she has seven elevenths of the bag remaining. And at the end of the 12th day, she has 300 grams remaining. And we are asked, what was the mass of the cat food at the start? OK, well, for me, it made sense because I had, um, you know, here 12 days, I thought I would draw a bar that was split into 12 parts. OK, so two, four six, eight, ten, and twelve. Okay. So this bar represents each of the twelve days mentioned. Okay, so this would be day one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. We're told that at the end of the eighth day, she has seven elevenths of the bag remaining. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so at the end of the eighth day, she has seven elevenths of the bag remaining. Okay, so this, um, now we're also told at the end of the 12th day, she has 300 grams remaining. So this is not the end of the bag. In fact, what I will do is put in, let's just, we don't know how much bigger the bag is. This is a completely randomly sized um, bag. And actually, what we'll do is at the end of the 12th day, we know that she has 300 grams. So I'm just going to label that as the 300 grams. Um, I know in my mind that I have no idea how big this ought to be compared to this. Um, so I need to bear that in mind. This is a completely random size. It is does not equate to these equal um, parts, as it were, here. OK, so at the end of the eighth day, she has seven elevenths of the bag remaining. So from here to here, okay, is seven elevenths. Okay, now you, then you have to have a look and think, oh, what's okay, so what's going on? Is that all the information I need? No, not quite. Um, well, if this is seven elevenths, then that also tells me about this part here which means that this part here up to and including day eight must be um, the the other part of the seven elevenths. That's the that's four elevenths. That's when I realize that sort of things have been, you know, drawn out of scale, perhaps, but it doesn't matter. So. And let's, uh, let's have a look. So each two days has to be one two, three, four. So each two days, when she's giving an equal amount of food each day, is equivalent to um, one eleventh of food. Okay, so what does that tell me? Well, that tells me that if I go to here, that that is an eleventh and that is an eleventh. So this is two elevenths, okay, which means that even though it's, remember, it's, I know it's out of scale, I'm not going to get worried about that, it means that this, this 300 grams must be equal to five elevenths. And if I, I'm going to go up here, if I divide 300, 
if I divide that by five, I get 60. Okay, that's 60 grams. Okay, and that means that each 11th equals one 11th. And let's go back and figure out what our question is. What was the mass of the cat food at the start? Well, we've got everything, you know, divided into these parts. We've, we've got it all in 11th now. So um, if 1 11th is 60 grams, I need to do 60 times 11, which gives me 660 grams. Okay, 660 grams. All right, so apologies if this doesn't look the same as the White Rose Math Solution, but once you put the problem out there, everyone's going to approach it in their individual way. Hope that helps.